we're lighting fires, and that's partly what this conference is about, isn't it? Lighting fires. And can't technology light those fires? There's a little bit of technology lighting some children's fires. Look at those faces. They've made video. Uh, they've, they've made videos using a, an app on the iPad, and they were watching it back. Look at the joy on those faces. They're my own little darlings, by the way. I don't apologise for including them in my presentation. But the joy is there. To know there's a fire being lit, if ever we saw. Do not wait to strike till the iron is hot, but make it hot by striking. You could wait forever for the next iteration of tablet, because there's a better one coming along. Now's the time. Now's the time to be adventurous, to get something and experiment with it and use it and heat up that iron. So put it in the hands of those learners. Get them out. Let them, have a, let them explore using the technology and make the iron hot by striking now. There are no strangers, only friends you have not met yet. That's you lot. And I've met some friends that I've never met before just over these last couple of days because I'm a Twitterer. I use the medium of Twitter to make new friends. Friends that I hope one day to meet in real life. But there are many on there now that I haven't yet met in real life. Well, if you're someone who connects with me on Twitter, come and say hello, you're my friend. And you're a very, very helpful friend. Twitter has been, for me, I mean, we heard this morning about the impact it can have in terms of professional development. I am, I said at the beginning, I'm not especially creative. I, as, as Drew has said before, I walk on the shoulders of giants. I get my ideas from other people. I'm a magpie. Where are those other people? Well, they live there. They live in spaces like Twitter, and they're benevolent, sharing, wonderful educators. We must laugh, we must sing, we are blessed by everything. Is this not a wonderful time when we are spoiled by the plethora of riches available to us in terms of content, equipment, apps, ideas? The slide could go on and on and on with the things that we have at our hands, and we should laugh and sing and rejoice at the opportunities presented and made available to us uh, through these incredible tools that we have available at our hands now in education. Do you know these? Um, just to say on QR codes, because they're amazing and interesting and wonderful, there is a, a, a oh, I'll come on to it actually, I'm, Ah, oh, Druid, Druid, how great webs of sorrow lay hidden in the small, slate coloured thing. And now, Yates being an incredibly um, passionate man about the use of technology, also was keen to deliver an e-safety message. Um, and I'm just going back to the QR code thing. You know, if we use QR codes, they're really exciting, really incredible that you point at it and, uh, and there is this, it invokes this wonderful thing. But they, be aware that a QR code is merely a route to the internet. And if young people are accessing the internet, they need to be aware that there is danger and caution required when accessing the internet. You could imagine someone um, maliciously posting a QR code somewhere that links to a website that you wouldn't want children to visit? What if they posted that on a lamppost near to a school? Would the children frisk up to it and point their device at it? Because QR codes are great, aren't they? They're all about learning. Aren't they wonderful? But then they could receive some inappropriate content. So my, my view would be that if we're going to use QR codes, we have a good opportunity to deliver, deliver an e-safety message. And actually, that's true of any technology that you're using in the classroom. Exploit the opportunities to deliver that e-safety message. 
We have a, a day in the UK called Safer Internet Day, when schools are encouraged to do the whole e-safety thing. Well, I think it's a bit like dogs not being just for Christmas. You know, e-safety isn't just for Safer Internet Day. E-safety needs to be a kind of a drip-fed thing that you deliver throughout the course of a child's uh, educational technology experience. Who will be our captain? Judge of the stars and find a course for us. Where do we turn for the direction that we need in the use of educational technology? Where is that, that captain, that lead? Well, it looks like that. It looks like Pete Fleet Sessi last night, where the captain was you lot. The guide was us, the community of educators. We're a, a host of captains, all leading the way and finding the course. And Teach Me is a great vehicle for us to find our way through it all. And you're the people who dance like a wave of the sea. Because the young people in your care have fun, excitement. They use their imagination. I've seen so many wonderful things. Last night at the Teach Me, today I've heard so many wonderful stories of learners dancing like the wave of the sea. Of the sea. Look at these wonderful teenagers um, using uh, the Just Dance game as part of their PE lesson. I have a final quote, which is nothing to do with um, educational technology. But nobody has read more Yates in the last six weeks than me. And I could not leave you without sharing this quote. Being Irish, he had an abiding sense of tragedy, which sustained him through temporary periods of joy. Can you relate to that? I don't know. I just said it's quite a wonderful quote. How are you doing time, Max? Oh, I don't want to too much time. That's the, I'm going to say this is still quite... This is who I am. I have the incredible expanding presentation. And just as a little tip for you always, building something for, for the learners to do, or a chat or something that you can add in or take away accordingly. So there were ten quotes, okay? And the, through looking at those quotes and thinking how they apply to educational technology, it forced me into a place where I had to do a bit of thinking. They weren't all the quotes I could find. Here are some others. And your job now, in order to expand my presentation to the incredible expanding presentation, is to have a look at these quotes and think, in your line of work, whatever it is you do, can you think of a way in which any of these might apply to your learners or your use of educational technology? So you're going to do the same job that Google has done. Have a little look at those and have a little think. I couldn't agree more, and I think we can model that as well by being the, the person who learns from our mistakes. Sometimes by building some mistakes in deliberately, so that it looks like we're you know deliberately getting stuff wrong, so that you model the idea of learners. The, the point I would make about learning from your mistakes is uh, I might say to groups of children, be careful, but 
Um, it, you know, there's probably no one here wearing nappies at the moment. Uh, the reason for that is that you can learn from making mistakes at some point in your life. And uh, that's led you to be in this position now. And so mistakes are a really, really important part of, of learning. Thank you ever so much. Anyone else got anything? who say, well, the kids know more than me. They know how that stuff works. And I'll say, well, yeah, they may know, but you've got wisdom. They've got knowledge. You've got wisdom. And they might know about how to find their way around uh, an iPhone or an iPad or a, a tablet or whatever. Uh, and they might know how to set up an Instagram account and how to manage friends and all the rest of it. But you have the wisdom that comes from being an adult and being around the block a little bit. You know about stranger danger and that kind of stuff. So knowledge versus wisdom. World's million lips are thirsty. I don't know, maybe I've um, copied and pasted wrong on that one because it doesn't seem to make sense. But the world's million lips are thirsty. Yeah, there is this this desire for knowledge, and uh, th this again kind of makes sets my mind thinking about um, how you deal with the fire hydrant um, of information that's coming at you. And I I, I honestly think that the uh, you know one of the one of the web skills or one of the digital literacy skills that we want in young people is this ability to curate, the ability to filter, the ability to find their way through the absolute mass of stuff that, that is out there. And I think it's increasingly a problem for us. Uh, uh, oh, sorry, one more. This has ever, it's ever been thus. It kind of, um, I think back to the, the interactive whiteboard wave that crashed over education, and I think a similar wave is crashing now with tablets. The number of schools I work with and go to who tell me that they've bought 60 iPads. Um, they're still in their boxes, or I get a phone call from a school that says, we've just bought 60 iPads, can you tell me where my documents is? And that's symptomatic of the wrong kind of thinking, isn't it? And I, I think you're right, you know, we need to be driven by what's right, what's educationally sound, and what outcomes we want for those young people, not by the latest fad, or what the school down the road has decided to do. So it's a good point. Greasy fingers in turn. Nice one.
what I love about this conference is having nice synergy with our colleagues from across the water. So that's yeah. thing as well. And I'd like to thank the Cyberman and Posh Asset for bringing, <laughs> for bringing our push to our notice. I don't think anybody in the Department of Education would fully have the ideas of the EdTech curriculum. <laughs> Um, I didn't introduce myself properly, did I? Um, I'm part of an organisation in the UK who are the English equivalent of SESI. And uh, I become the chair of that organisation. Is it March, April? Yeah, March, April. Drew here is the vice, my successor. NACE, N-A-A-C-E. Not like the NACE outside Dublin. N-A-A-C-E. I think it once stood for the National Association for Advisors in Computer Education. There's a conference. There's a conference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're all welcome to the NACE conference. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be great. Hey. You heard it here first. <laughs> nice one. Right, class dismissed. Thank you. Yeah.